here today to get a kickoff going here for the reunification of Roosevelt Park. It's a makeover designed to provide some TLC to a park and develop a gateway to bring communities together. We're going to be removing the streets here in the middle to open the park up, make it more park like setting and also to allow for the better flow of traffic. The park is located next to the Michigan Central Station, which is undergoing a transformation by Ford Motor Company. Brad Dick serves as director of the city of Detroit's General Services and says this project is personal. He moved to Detroit in 1991 to a home behind the train station and near the park. And I drove through here every day thinking, what a screwy mess this is. And I, whoever would have thought 30 years later be part of the team that actually gets to make changes here for the positive. One of the things we're going to be looking at is improved infrastructure, the sidewalk, um, the traffic signals, some of the road work. Roosevelt Park is currently bisected by Verner and a small section of 15th Street. But results from the greater court town, neighborhood planning framework recommended a single unified park space, which will be uninterrupted by vehicular traffic. We are also going to be uh, reconstructing, rebuilding and reimagining what the Verner Viaduct is going to look like in the future. Starting next Tuesday, construction work will begin and the Verner underpass will be closed for about six weeks as work is completed. The Southwest Detroit Business Association is happy about the project and the bridging of communities. To strengthen the unification between the two areas, we're talking about Court Town and Mexican down. The redesign of the park involves community voices. This park is going to be redesigned and redone, and we want to make sure that everybody has a voice in what they would like to see in the park. To learn how you can make your voice heard, go to fox2detroit.com. Our goal is to unify Michigan Central's buildings with the surrounding neighborhoods and make our mobility innovation district an open and welcoming place for everyone. And Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.